Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over how I covered my countertops. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am in the pop-up camper and if you're new here then welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and if you are looking for a channel that is just like DIYs, travel in our pop-up camper in Washington, trailer renovations, this is the spot for you. Definitely hit that like definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the bell if you want to know when my videos come out which is Tuesdays at 10 a.m. but you can get alerted if you want that. <laughs> Today I am showing you guys how to cover your current countertops and I'm really excited about this because I actually had a lot of questions people asking me how to get those corners just right and I think I have mastered it with the help of Rusty of course. <laughs> so we worked today getting this all done doing some experiments and these are the things that are necessary for getting those countertops just right. All right guys so before we get started really quick I wanted to show you what we're going to use today. So one of the really important things obviously you're going to need to get your whatever you're going to be using to cover your countertops. For me that was this butcher's block. It is a vinyl cover self-adhesive film. They are rated, this specific one is rated pretty high on Amazon and I actually had somebody reach out and say that they always use these in their camper remodels and also that they work really well around sinks. So as far as I'm con concerned, that is great. They're not a very expensive option. They're obviously a great option for anybody worried about weight in their trailer or in your trailer camper. So this is what I chose and it so far looks amazing. I have like a ton of rolls out here. So here's some other things you're gonna need. You're gonna need some alcohol wipes or any kind of alcohol that you can just spray onto your surface to wipe clean. So this is the application kit. So it actually comes with your little scraper thing that's gonna help get the bubbles out. And then also it comes with this little knife. You're gonna need scissors. If you do not purchase the kit that has the X-Acto knife, I highly, highly recommend grabbing yourself a blade or whatever you're gonna use for cutting. It just helps in the process. And a heater gun. If you don't have a heater gun, use a hair blow dryer. They do the same thing basically, just there. This is like less airflow. That is it, you guys. Super simple. Okay, so super easy. The first step you're gonna to wanna to do is clean up your countertop. Obviously, get rid of all of the stuff that's all over it, but next you're gonna to want to wipe it down with your alcohol wipes or alcohol spray, whatever you're gonna use. Make sure you get all of your edges really, really well. Um, for the purposes of this video, I actually took the countertop off already, so I already had it on and I removed it and I am like, we did the corner a bunch of times to figure out how to make that look right for you guys. Just make sure that you have cleaned off your area, you've cleaned off the edges, you've cleaned off the underside because you want this stuff to really stick well. And if it's kind of wet, if it's moist, or if, and that's why I use alcohol wipes, if it's moist or if it has like even the tiniest little piece of like coffee grounds was an issue on the counter on the kitchen counter but if you have coffee grounds underneath it you're gonna see it so we don't want any issues like that once you have cleaned off your countertop the next thing you're gonna want to do is measure your vinyl so you don't want to have to piece together your countertop you want to try to get this done in the, as big of pieces as you possibly can just so that they look more natural and it just looks better that way so you're gonna want to measure using the back of your vinyl there's actually like nice little squares you can actually use a measuring tape and measure out your countertops but if you're like me and you like to be as simple as possible, you actually can just use your vinyl to measure out your area. So what I did was I just measured this spot and then at the end of this, I cut it to, I cut it to fit nicely. So in my pop-up camper, I have this little ledge that I'm following across the back. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make sure that this is nice and straight throughout the entire process of putting it on. Now, once you have it all lined up, your countertop is clean you have measured you have cut i already cut so i'm just going to skip that step for you then you're going to find a corner and i suggest the back corner and you're going to ravel it like so it's kind of like a big sticker yeah so it's kind of like a big sticker really easy during this part you're going to want to use this guy as a smooth it has a side that's like nice and soft and i would i mean i've been using that side i would suggest you use that side because then you're not going to like get any nicks in your actual vinyl although it is pretty strong stuff but i haven't had any issues with it yet and so i'm pretty excited about that and i've and the reviews are fantastic so here we go 
Okay, so I'm going to peel and stick this section over here. And once I have it exactly how I want it in the exact spot I want it in, and it's nice and straight, and I know it's straight all the way across. Right, okay. Then you want to just pull from underneath and begin using your tool to smooth out any air bubbles. And that looks pretty good to me. So very nice, no air bubbles, really quick. I mean, I, I've done this a few times now, so it's not that easy your first couple of times trying, but the nice thing about this stuff is that it's not hard to get off. So if you mess up, make sure, I mean, you know, make sure you buy enough so that if you mess up, you can just peel it off and try again. The next step is gonna be to put down the sides here. So make sure that your edges are not too long. So like, as you can see, my edges are really long, probably too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and make it a little bit more. I'm gonna cut this so that it doesn't, it just wraps around the edge and doesn't end up on this part of the wood. Once it's all trimmed, you're going to want to make sure that your edges are... Okay, so see how mine have like this kind of... Looks like it has air in it. That's because it does have air in it. So I'm going to just lift it a little bit. I'm going to pull it nice and tight and I'm going to start in the middle. Once you have it pulled nice and tight, and I'm going to go all the way across, pulling it nice and tight all the way across, all the way across. Then I'm going to do the final step, which is to wrap it all the way around. Once it's wrapped around, I'm going to take the heater gun, heat it up. Most of your countertops are not going to be covered all the way like mine isn't so the next step would be to measure so that it is long enough here but also long enough to cover all the way around here so I suggest and what I have done is I actually find a line that is pretty well like you can see it really well and that's where I'm gonna start my next spot so that way it doesn't look like pieced like if I put it right up to here it's gonna give me a larger, I could, you know, more room for mistakes if I put it right up to this, but also if you overlap it, it's going to end up lasting a lot longer, I think, if it's overlapped rather than straight butted up next to each other. So that's going to be your next step. Measure, cut along this line, and then line it all up. So next we're going to do the corner. As you can see, it's kind of longer on this side and I did that on purpose because I have a lot more ledge on this side. This is obviously rounded. So this is rounded. Most trailers and RVs have countertops that are rounded. So it's hard to get these on really like looking precise and nice. So what I did was I did some experimenting. The first step you're going to do is cut a straight line right before it's starting to do its curve. 
you're gonna cut a straight line that goes all the way to the very, very edge of your countertop. Next, you're gonna come to the other side and do the exact same thing. Find the spot where it's starting to curve and cut a straight line. I'm gonna just make this little, I'm gonna make a cut here that's rounded. For whatever reason, that kind of helps with this process. I can't explain the science behind it. <laughs> So next we're going to do basically like flower petal cuts. So my first cut is going to be over here and it's going to be straight on. My next cut is going to be kind of at the diagonal. And then I'm going to do another cut. You can also do this with your X-Acto knife, whatever you're more comfortable with honestly. That might actually get you all the way to the side a little bit better. So then, so I suggest either doing from right to left or from left to right. I'm going to start on the left because it's the closest to you guys, you can see it. And so I'm going to take my piece and I'm leaving my extra counter, all of the other stuff, I'm going to leave that there. My first one I'm just going to pull straight, make it nice and flat across the surface. And then because this side is a little bit shorter, I'm going to go ahead and make a snip across the bottom and I'm going to fold it all the way in. Once again, do not worry if it isn't sticking or laying perfectly underneath here, we're gonna heat that up. Okay, so my next spot. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna make sure that this lays really, really nicely because this is the, these are the actual corner pieces. So these are gonna be the, the tricky spots here. Voila, I'm just gonna lay this flat over it. And once again, I'm going to snip this because it's pretty long. This is my last piece. I'm going to lay that flat and down. Once it's on there, I highly, highly suggest, even before moving on to this part here, you're going to take your heat gun to it. And I'm going to start at the top here. Just warm it up. And it's pretty cold in my trailer right now because I have the heater off for the purposes of this video. So once it starts to heat up, it will start to just correct itself. Try not to get your other piece in just yet. And now I'm just going to do the exact same thing over here that I did over there. I'm going to make sure that the top is pulled nice and tight. And then starting in the middle, flatten it over the edge. If you end up with a section, I don't know if you can see it here, but it's kind of overlaying under here. So I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife, make a little cut across the centerpiece, and then just peel it off. It's pretty simple. And now I'm just going to do this last little edge, or this last long edge. So as you can see, the kitchen is complete. The only advice I would give around in the kitchen is the counter, the, the seal here needs to be caulked. So make sure that you do that. Otherwise, I mean, as far as I'm, I have heard, the countertop covers work really well. I think they look amazing. This even looks great and we did piece it together. We did the back strip first, then we did the side, the middle, the other side, and then we did a whole big strip here for the front but it did turn out really nice. So you can't even really see the seams here. It's pretty nice. We just make sure, we just made sure to, like I said, get it right up to that edge and you're good to go. So that's it for today. If you guys have any questions, definitely comment down below. I can make a follow-up video if there are any more like tips, tricks that you wanna learn or you wanna know. I have now done all three counters in our trailer. Rusty helped me with the kitchen because whoo, you definitely, I mean, you can absolutely do it by yourself. It makes it so much nicer and easier if you're with somebody, but you guys definitely just saw me do a countertop. It was really easy. I did it by myself. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you liked it because any engagement helps. And I appreciate everybody who has subscribed and is excited to watch my videos and giving me feedback. I love it. So I'll be back next Tuesday, 10 a.m. with another video. Um, don't forget to check out my other videos. I have how to paint the trailer, how to sew cushion covers. <laughs> all the good stuff and also some vlogs of Washington so some vlogs of exploring Washington so yeah I hope you guys are having an awesome week thanks for coming by and happy camping friends what I did for measuring and you can totally like use a rule not a ruler you this week
Ooh, so this is like, oh my gosh. How to sew your cushions for your for your 